Our series, A More Perfect Union, aims to show that what unites us as Americans is far greater than what divides us. This morning, we take a look at an important issue for people with disabilities, wheelchair safety. More than 2.7 million Americans rely on wheelchairs to get around, but every year, more than 100,000 are injured in wheelchair-related accidents. Omar Villafranca shows us one family's extraordinary push to make wheelchairs safer. As a Grammy-nominated songwriter, Barry Dean is credited with several top Billboard hits. But his best work may be this. You take off and I'll follow you. His daughter's new wheelchair. Catherine, now 20, was born 16 weeks early and with cerebral palsy. The diagnosis would change her life and the lives of her parents. She deserves to be independently mobile. Yeah. You want that for her, but it's it, terrifying. Barry and his wife Jennifer remember shopping for Catherine's first power wheelchair when she was only four. The speed setting on the chair hadn't been adjusted, and she tapped the thing and it took off down the hallway, and the salesperson and I jumped on it, grabbed on it, drug us down, and ran into the wall. She was fine, you know, everything was fine, but it scared us. What kind of protection is available on just regular wheelchairs nowadays? A seatbelt. It's really just a seatbelt. <laughs> Catherine's back has screws in it. It's, the spine is fused. If she flips off of a curb and all that weight uh, falls on her, uh, it would be catastrophic. In some ways, wheelchair accidents can be more dangerous for the rider than car crashes. But while safety technology, like collision avoidance, has made vehicles safer over time, Barry learned power wheelchairs lagged behind. And that struck a chord. We couldn't believe that it didn't exist. I'm not willing to spend 10 or 20 years of Catherine's life waiting for someone else to make it a priority to do the right thing. He sought the help of his brother, Jared, an engineer, and the siblings went to work to make Catherine's wheelchair smarter. There are problems that are intellectually challenging. And then there are problems that you really care about. And this is the first time in my life that both of those have hit at the same time. That's a pretty powerful combination. After three years of trial and error, the result is Lucy, an add-on hardware and software system for power wheelchairs. You've got cameras and ultrasonics and radar, millimeter wave radar technology. Named after Catherine's favorite Beatles song, Lucy has grown from a family passion project into a company. It does collision avoidance so you won't uh, run into people or things or pets. It does drop off protection so you won't drive off curbs or, or have those kinds of catastrophic uh, problems. And then it tip over warning and alerts. Time Magazine called it one of 2020's best inventions. What was it like seeing your daughter in that chair for the first time? It was just such a relief. You know, she loves to be outside. She loves to be able to drive around the neighborhood and to have just a little bit less stress <laughs> in our world. It was a great thing. And for the accomplished songwriter, it may be his greatest hit. Doing good? As a dad, it's emotional. I love you. I mean, because you really want her to feel free and uh, to be able to do what she wants. Are you going fast? For CBS This Morning, Omar Villafranca, Dallas. When they say it's his biggest hit, yes. that, that means a lot because he's written, he wrote Pontoon and Day Drinking for Little Big Town. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Diamond oh, Rings yes. and Mold Barstools for Tim McGraw. This man is an accomplished songwriter, so that is, that's a huge hit for oh, him. Oh, bravo. Well done. And I love that his brother's an engineer. I know, that helps. Said, I, I like that he said, I'm not going to sit around for 20 years and wait for someone else to do to this. Come up with I'm going to do it myself. Yeah. Yeah. And I love the name Lucy. It's so friendly. Yeah.